Fewer drug-resistant infections might soon be a possibility. Researchers from Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, or SMART, and the Nanyang Technological University have designed an antimicrobial polymer that can kill bacteria resistant to commonly used antibiotics. It could pave the way for developing life-saving new medicines. Now, for more on this breakthrough, Dr. Megan McBee, scientific director of the SMART Anti Microbial Resistance Research Group is here along with Dr. Mary Chan Park, NTU professor and a smart principal investigator. Thank you both for coming in. Welcome. Uh, Mary, I'll come to you first. Uh, the World Health Organization says at least 700,000 uh, deaths each year are caused by drug resistant infections and diseases. Will this research help scale back that number? Yeah, we are trying to uh, help to solve the global antimicrobial resistance problem. And that's because uh, antibiotics are, are old drugs. So this polymer can potentially replace some of the antibiotics that are no longer able to cure the infectious mm. infection. Yeah. So Megan, you know, put it into perspective for us what this breakthrough means uh, in terms of its application with superbugs. How does it work? How does it work? Well, um, generally the, the polymers are able to um, attach to the bacteria uh, and break it open essentially. Um, Mary can give a little bit more details on the so mechanism. This uh, polymer, they act different, differently from antibiotics. This polymer can attack the membranes of the superbugs, and in so doing, they form holes in these superbugs. Then the, uh, the inside of the superbugs would then leak out and cause the bacteria to die. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and that's quite a breakthrough, Megan? Oh, definitely. So, you know, one of the things that is of concern to a lot of researchers right now is that Pharmaceutical companies have essentially backed off from all of their early phase discovery for new antibiotics. And so um, programs such as ours at uh, SMART, uh, which is MIT's uh, research enterprise here in Singapore, mm -hmm. and with our collaborators locally are, and funded by the Singapore government, um, such as NRF or MOE, all of our new drugs are going to come from these types of, of, in, of interactions and discoveries. And uh, you know, in order to have any new ones, someone has to fund it. So, so we understand this is the first time that researchers have used beta peptides in this way. That's right. Why haven't they been used like this before? Because uh, beta peptides are more difficult to make than the conventional peptides. The conventional peptides are called the alpha peptides. So beta peptides are synthetically more challenging. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, they have many advantages, such as the uh, more the higher stability. So we explored this field of beta peptides, uh, but we discovered uh, a combination of two amino acids could do the job of killing the bacteria better mm -hmm. and have higher uh, biocompatibility. Right. Yeah. Okay, and does this have applications uh, beyond just for humans? Oh, oh, you mean definitely? You mean beyond humans as in animals? Mm. Or Yeah, definitely. I think the MRSA is a serious problem for the pig farming and for uh, maybe other, uh, maybe for the cattle and all that. Mm. Yeah. So you mentioned MRSA, but, but do you think there is a time frame that we could pet potentially be looking at to make this commercially viable? Um, oh, for sure. I mean, yeah. the time frame is going to vary um, mm -hmm. depending on the number of tests that need to be done. Mm. There's, uh, you know, different manufacturing techniques and tests that need to be worked out and then some preclinical development. Uh, but we're talking you know, three, five years until you can get into clinical trials mm -hmm. at the earliest. Okay, so what's the next step then, Mary? What are you, what are you looking forward to be working on next with this? Um, I think the next would be to test it into uh, bigger animals. Like uh, right now, we test it in, uh, in mice. So we would want to test it in pigs and then do more thorough toxicity tests. Mm. Yeah. It's a fantastic new development yeah. and an important one for uh, the medical world, isn't it? Yeah, we think so. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to work to try to um, help this you know, discovery get and make it to the clinic as early as possible. Well, thank you both very much for coming into the studios to share that with us uh, and uh, coming in so late in the evening as well. Uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, we're glad to be here. We've been Welcome. speaking there to Dr. Megan McBee, Scientific Director of the Smart Antimicrobial Resistance Research Group, as well as Dr. Mary Chan Park, NTU Professor and Smart Principal Investigator.